Guys, today we're going to learn the basics of making a New York style pizza. So what you want to do first is get a nice bowl of flour, get your dough. I typically press down pretty hard, but you want to keep the shape of the dough. Just make sure you got flour over, over all of it. If you got moisture, it'll stick to the paddle. That's why I use the flour. And then you're going to come over here. You want to start with the rougher side of the dough facing you. And you're going to press down real hard with your... I use the tips of my fingers and the balls of my fingers right here. This just gets you a nice surface area so you can have a bigger piece to work with when you start actually stretching it. Once you got it flattened out a little bit, you're going to flip it over. And now you have the smoother side which is what you're actually going to put your hands on to stretch out the dough on the paddle. And what this hand does is slight, slightly presses down on the dough and you're going to pull the rest of the dough with this hand. Typically you're going to use your dominant hand to do the pulling of the dough. So. And once you've got the dough stretched out, a decent amount on the paddle that's when you're going to go and pick it up now some people can throw the dough up and all that jazz you don't necessarily have to do that you can also just do this with the dough and gravity will do a lot of the work for you and what you're looking for here is you want to catch the dough on your hands right on the edge of the dough not in the middle that way the middle stretches out with the gravity but you don't want any thin spots, so that's why you want to catch it on the edge of the dough itself. And once you got it about the size you want it, you come back down. And what you're looking for here is you don't want any wrinkles in the dough. If the dough has a wrinkle in it, um, it typically means that that's a real thin spot and so the air is getting under it real easy. So when you have the dough like this, it's nice and flat, even surface. That means we don't have any thin spots. You just want to make sure there's no bubbles in it. This is an 18 inch pizza paddle. Um, obviously you can make it however big you want it. Um, but for today we're doing a large. If you can see, this is just a little bit small. You still got a lot of paddle around the edges. So I'm going to pick it up and give it a few more tosses here. Alrighty, we got that nice circle shape. Now we're going to come over here in a nice ladle full of sauce. So you're going to want to start in the middle and you do small circles to begin with. And as the sauce spreads out, you're gonna to wanna to do bigger circles to get that all, all around the pizza. And what you're looking for here is to go right to the edge, but not quite all the way, because you still want that crust. So probably about half an inch between the sauce and the edge of the pizza. And then you're going to get your cheese. The cheese can be done many different ways. I typically start around the edges and work my way towards the middle. One thing to note with the cheese is a little bit goes a long way. Um, it may not look like a lot when you put it in the oven, but once it all melts and spreads out, you'd be surprised how much, how much you really do have on there looking for a nice even spread looks about good and then before you put your pizza in the oven you always want to make sure your paddle doesn't have any cheese on it because if the cheese gets under the dough in the oven that can make it stick and then you're just going to use the tips of your fingers to stretch out the pizza just a little bit more a little blow under it that gets the pizza off the paddle it gets air under it so it slides off into the oven real nice and this is one of the hardest parts to learn for people but you just want to give the paddle a nice little shake 
and it should just slide right off for you. Thanks for watching, everyone.